The world is full of strange and unusual things, some of which are so bizarre that they seem unreal. From volcanic lightning to underwater forests and living rocks, nature never ceases to amaze us with its surprises. Now, I understand that what you see in the picture might look like a brain growing from the ground, but it's actually a type of fungus known as Gyrometra esculenta. These can be found in North America and Europe usually under coniferous trees during spring and summer. Despite their peculiar appearance, they are considered a delicacy. However, they are poisonous and can be fatal if eaten raw. Rainbow eucalyptus trees grow at an incredibly fast pace. They can double in size every year and reach a diameter of 2 meters and a height of up to 61 meters. These trees shed their bark in strips, revealing a green layer that changes color creating a beautiful contrast with the other vibrant hues of the trunk. Some consider them to be the most spectacular sight on Earth. Dirty lightning is an unusual phenomenon associated with significant volcanic eruptions. It is characterized by lightning that occurs in an eruption cloud from a volcano. During these eruptions, ash particles in the cloud collide, producing an electric charge instead of the typical thunderstorm where ice crystals collide. Many consider this to be one of the most incredible natural occurrences on Earth. Now for something a little bit cute. The royal antelope. These little guys are the smallest antelope species in the world. You may think that this is a baby, but oh no, this is them fully grown. Native to West Africa, they share very similar physical traits to the hare, with overdeveloped hindquarters twice as long as their forelimbs and a short tail. They can stand at 25 centimeters in height and can weigh up to 3 kilograms. No, these aren't some bird skulls or things used for witches' potions. They're just snapdragon seed pods that happen to look like skulls. The popular garden plant receives its name from its resemblance to a dragon and due to the fact that they snap open and shut when squeezed, but once the flower dies, the pod takes on a more sinister appearance found in the rainforest of Central and South America. These flowers replicate juicy pairs of lips quite well. Sadly, they're becoming endangered due to uncontrolled deforestation, and they're only kissable for a short while before they spread open to reveal the plant's real flowers. Interestingly, the lips are not the plant's real flowers, but modified leaves known as brags. Now this guy looks more like an alien hybrid instead of a moth. This species of moth is native to Southeast Asia and Australia, and I know what you're thinking. What on earth are those weird appendages used for? Those are a male's scent glands that produce pheromones used to attract a female whatever floats a lady moth's boat, I guess. Now, this caterpillar may be unlike any you've seen before, and for a good reason. This poor spiny oak caterpillar met a brutal fate. It was chosen as the unsuspecting home for a nest of parasitic wasps that decided to use it to raise their offspring. The braconid wasp lays its eggs underneath the caterpillar's skin, and once hatched, the braconid larvae eat through the poor caterpillar, after which they spin cocoons. This here is not an egg yolk casually basking in the sun, but it is, in fact, a marine creature called a sea pork. Each one of these creatures is made up of a group of organisms called zoids, meaning that they are individual animals that can also be part of a colonial animal. The name pork for this creature comes from its resemblance to meat, which I must admit, I'm not really seeing. It looks more like a satsuma. Supposedly, it is quite the delicacy in Japan. These may look like rocks, but they are in fact a sea creature. These guys are completely immobile, like a rock, but eat by sucking in water. They have clear blood and secrete a rare element called vanadium, not only that, but they're born male and become hermaphroditic at puberty. They reproduce by emitting a cloud of sperm and eggs into the surrounding water to breathe. They're also eaten by locals raw or in stews. This could very well be mistaken for some undiscovered Pokemon, but it's a creature called the Siphana Forth that was discovered on a beach in New Zealand, with thousands of them littering the beach. There are about 188 species of Siphana Fours, and although each one looks like an individual creature, they, like the colonial tunicate, are also made up of zoids. 
They're very jellyfish-like and have been known to sting people, with it sometimes being lethal. They are also the longest animal in the world, with some being found to be as long as 40 meters. Something that looks similar to the siphonophore is the pterotrachoidea its long name makes up for its small size. This sea slug is commonly known as the water ghost due to it having camouflage organs, making them transparent. Its other nickname is water elephant for obvious reasons. We have all heard of aliens making crop circles in fields, but have you heard of crop circles underwater? Believe it or not, these circles are created by cute little pufferfish that are just a few inches long. Male pufferfish can spend up to six weeks building the circles to attract a mate. If the female is impressed with the male's creativity, she will lay eggs in the center of the circle. The riffles in the circle work as a shield against ocean currents. The more riffles the male fish creates, the greater his chances of getting some action with the opposite sex. Two crystal-like objects fell from the sky during a hailstorm in the UK. A resident described them as being almost impossible to pick up, as they were very jelly-like. According to a scientist who investigated the case, the objects could be eggs from a marine invertebrate. However, this still does not explain how they fell from the sky. Maybe a tornado picked them up and carried them for miles. What do you think? With the vast size of our oceans, it is no surprise that we are still discovering new species. The Gariglava rostris, for example, was only discovered in India in 2017. At first glance, it may look like it has some sort of infection on its nose, but the nodules are entirely normal and used for breeding purposes. The purple jelly disc, a fungus commonly found in North America, Asia, and Europe, looks like a piece of raw meat on the ground. However, it may serve a more useful function, as scientists have discovered it could potentially be a source of biofuel. The ocean is filled with many bizarre creatures, including the Malai Liamine. These strange-looking sea critters were discovered on the shore of the Pacific Northwest. The person who found them inquired about their origins on Reddit, where it was concluded that they are, in fact, a kind of sea slug called Melibliamine, also known as a lion's mane nudibranch, which sounds far cooler. There are a variety of interesting, transparent sea dwellers found in the ocean. You have your standard jellyfish and shrimp, but there are also breeds such as the crocodile icefish with its ghostly appearance and colorless blood. Even more bizarre is this sea sap, an organism that pumps water through its gelatinous body, chomping down on phytoplankton. These guys are unique as they exist both as individuals and also as part of a larger organism, with some making luminous chains of up to 15 feet long. Now I know what you're thinking, and yes, this does look a bit phallic, but get your mind out of the gutter. This is nothing more than a Pandora Sphinx moth caterpillar. They're a North American moth, grayish green in color, with patches of pink around their eye spots and edges its wingspan can be between three to four inches in length. When they're in their caterpillar form, they like to drill into the earth to pupate. Nope, this isn't an alien come to invade, but a crinoid called a feather star that someone accidentally hooked while fishing. They're marine animals that live in shallow water and up to depths of just over 9,000 meters. Crinoids have a U-shaped gut, and their bum is located next to the mouth. Yep, by their mouth. They come in a range of forms that attach themselves to the sea bottom by stalks known as sea lilies, but they can also be seen swimming freely. This isn't just a rock, but in fact, a fossil made from two worms. They have a fantastic mechanism where they excrete calcium carbonate to form a tube as a means of defense. The worms are able to stick to any surface, such as clams, rocks, or even other worm tubes. Tube worm fossils date back as far as 443 million years ago and are incredibly rare. The worms living inside the tube are called feather dusters or fan worms and use their fluffy tentacles to filter food out of the water. While it may seem frightening to come across this at the beach, the image is just a bluefin tuna skull seen from above. From the side of a tuna's head, you can see how it fits into place. Bluefin tuna refers to four different types of tuna fish, the Southern Pacific, Atlantic, and Longtail. The Pacific tuna is the largest of these fish, growing up to almost three meters long. 
Sometimes called jelly sausages or horseshoe sausages, these eggs are clear, kidney-shaped jelly laid by the conical snail. The eggs themselves are not harmful, but the conical snail is venomous. With stings like those of a bee, it can be fatal to some people. If you come across a jelly sausage, you'll see hundreds of tiny black dots that look like grains of sand, but those are actually individual baby snails getting ready to hatch. Now for a few more amazing deep sea creatures. Pelican flounders are strange fish, but their larvae are some of the most alien looking entities of the deep. Like mosquitoes, pelican flounder larvae are enveloped within their transparent flesh, only growing into their normal opaque brown color as they mature. In fact, the pelican flounder looks similar to cusk eels. They come in a variety of forms and are wrapped within an almost extraterrestrial looking transparent form. This is to be expected, however, as the cusk eel is officially one of the deepest ocean-dwelling creatures on record, living at a depth of 8,200 meters. Moving away from creatures now, Abraham Lake is an artificial lake located in the foothills of the Canadian Rockies in Canada. It was created in 1972 with the construction of the Bighorn Dam. What's surprising about this lake is that the plants within it release methane gas, and as the lake gets colder, the methane freezes and creates columns of frozen bubbles. Though it looks gorgeous, Abraham Lake isn't for the faint-hearted, as if you go there, you'll be able to see all the cracks in the ice and the deep boom of ice breaking underneath the lake's surface. Here's another amazing lake. Candy Lake is a 400-meter-long lake in Kazakhstan, made famous for its otherworldly landscape and limestone blue water. It attracts a multitude of visitors each year who go there to see its immersed forest with branches that protrude through the water's surface. The forest formed after an earthquake hit the region in 1911. In addition to destroying over 700 buildings, the 7.7 magnitude earthquake created a massive landslide of limestone that formed a natural levee and gave rise to an underwater effect. The water temperature is freezing, which has helped to preserve the shrunk spruce trees that are submerged in it. So, which natural oddity surprised you the most? Also, do you know of any other oddity that should have made it to the list? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching.